I just saw a stat that said Curtis Joseph had made over 24,000 saves in his career. Like, who had time to actually go through the stats and calculate all that? Probably Cujo. He spent most of the year on the bench. Leafs beat the Capitals 3-2 to two in the shootout, and someone needs to tell the Leafs what place they're in, and Cujo how old he is. And I hope you weren't offended by the joke at the beginning, I joke, I joke, I get it, kid. Curtis Joseph has played most of the season on the bench, though, but this game, he comes off the bench and makes over a save per minute to give the Leafs a shot in the shootout. But he comes in, stops all three shooters in the shootout, and there you have it, the Leafs beat the Southeast Division leading Washington Capitals. Well, that's probably right, because according to my watch, it's half past March. Why does this always happen? Whatever, it's March, I get it, I get it, I'll talk about the game. Capitals got AO8, yeah, but the Leafs got PO4. Not as catchy. Fellow Ruskovic scores his first career NHL goal. And it's a bit of a weird feeling for me because I've interviewed some of the Marlies earlier this season with the press pass I got, and now seeing them play with the Leafs, I'm going, interviewed that guy, interviewed that guy, interviewed... This is kind of weird. I talked to three guys that were in this game's lineup. Andres, Strawman, Oreskovic. Go see the Marlies, it's cheap, and ah, I don't know how to drill it through your head. It's the hockey town! No it's not, I'm calling your bluff. Do get back on topic. Sorry, Ron, but anyway, the Leafs give up a goal to Alexander Ovechkin, it was his 51st, and celebration not as fantastic. Yay! And then off a goal by Kabina, it looks like the Leafs are gonna take it, and all of a sudden, crash, bang, boom, <laughs> into Martin Gerber's net, and uh, somehow the Capitals come out with the game-tying goal. And to add insult to injury, Martin Gerber acting a little naughty and gets kicked out of the game. But unfortunately for Martin Gerber, I apologize. You do not take home the award for my favorite goalie incident of the week. We'll get to that later in the video. But that's my question of the game. Guys, was that second Capitals goal a goal, or was it not a goal? And should Gerber have been kicked out? With Gerber out of the game, Cujo had to come in and stand on his 40-plus-year-old head. And with this win, while I'm happy that the Leafs won, uh, the blog I posted on Leaf Space is already out of date. I tried to predict how the final nine games of the season would go. The first one was this, and I said the Leafs would lose. Turncoat! Panthers fan! Yeah, just, just, it was one time! Lastly for this video, remember when I said the Gerber incident for this game was nothing in comparison to another goalie incident that happened earlier this week? Well, here it is. Our good old friend Tuka Rask lost it in an AHL game this week with the Providence Bruins. I've seen it on a couple sports sites, I'll try posting a link, but it was spaztastic. Unfortunately, that's it for this video. The next couple videos are going to be rather short because I will be on the road. I'll bring my camera, but the videos are going to be a lot shorter. I'll be doing a lot of homework while on the road because it's that awesome time of year where your homework built up, built up, built up, and you just realized it now. Let's take a look at the old calendar. Expletive. Yeah, one of those. So the rest of this week's going to be hard. Next week's going to be... I try not to think about it. But at least next Friday... It's all going to be over, which conveniently is April 3rd. And I've been trying to keep April 3rd open because Monica with a K from Leaf Space keeps going, Oh, guys, keep April 3rd open. And I'm all like, why, Monica? And she's all like, secrecy. Whatever, after all the assignments, projects, and essays of the next couple weeks, I'll be keeping the 3rd open for sure. Peace, guys. See you next game.